San Francisco is now forcing many stores in certain neighborhoods to close down. This is what we're seeing here. Many people have been saying that this new San Francisco business curfew is not going to make any sort of change to slow down crime. The owner is basically warning people that this is hurting businesses. Now, Mayor London Bree proposes a new law that will force some retail stores to close between 12 and 5 a.m. Guys, I don't really think forcing businesses to not open up at nights to generate money, that's not going to curb the amount of people doing fentanyl and doing crack on the streets, okay? It just doesn't make any sense. Like, what in the world's going on in San Francisco? You know, forcing stores to close down, like the bodegas, the small retail stores, to close between 12 and 5 a.m., that's not going to do anything for the crime. People are still going to do drugs. People are still going to sell drugs. People are still going to rob stores. Doesn't make any sense. And many business owners are tired because sometimes a large chunk of their business come from very late customers, like 12 to 5 a.m. Like imagine the weekend, right? Friday, Saturday, that's when people are out partying. And of course, people are going to be visiting your food store or your retail store to shop for some stuff. And there's business to be made. But now these stores are forced to close. And many of these guys are really mad about it. Right now, much of San Francisco's downtown looks like the city just gave up on itself. Drug addicts opening doing fentanyl. And let me tell you guys, forcing stores to close early, like again, is not going to stop people from doing fentanyl. They're still going to do it. People are still passed out everywhere. And there's homelessness sprawled out everywhere. Trash everywhere. And it looks like some third world country. This guy has been in San Francisco for six months and is still not used to this. It's absolutely appalling. All government leaders responsible for this should be ashamed and fired. If no leader can resolve this, it's time to hit the reset button. The current situation of San Francisco downtown is unacceptable. It's really bad. And they need to hold themselves to a higher standard. This is what it looks like. Oh, by the way, do you see this picture right here? It says the oak San Francisco.com and it has like condos, right? Okay, I'm not going to be buying a one bedroom for seven hundred to eight hundred thousand dollars just to have my lobby look like this. This is what the front looks like, and you kind of wonder why they can't sell a single unit. Now this new construction condo building may be going through the foreclosure phase, but now they're trying to change it into rentals because literally nobody's buying it. Look at this guys. Vacant Hayes Valley condo is also tied to like Chinese billionaire. Could be become rentals that's what we're seeing here this is recently built this is right next to some of the biggest tech companies right next to twitter well they're leaving now right next to reddit right next to uber right next to lyft right next to a lot of cool stores and restaurants the civic center has a few problems here and there but before the pandemic it wasn't too bad it was still very hip and touristy a little dangerous sometimes but overall pretty decent because there's so many people but now all the tech employees have left these condos are now selling a condo building with over a hundred units sitting empty. And that's because of bad city policies, which has really deteriorated the space so much that people do not want to buy these condos. Cause generally in San Francisco, new construction projects like these, when they come up, people buy them immediately. I remember back in like 2015 to 2017, any like boutique condo building that pops up or a mid-sized tower, Every unit basically immediately gets snatched up within like the first month, but not anymore. Look at this guy's tourist gets all their valuable items stolen from multiple vehicles. Now, laptops, cameras, iPads, passports are all gone. And this is kind of like what it looks like. I mean, these tourists were literally going to the San Francisco beach for like 10 minutes, comes back and every single item in their car is broken in. Absolutely devastating. And I guarantee you, these guys are never coming back to San Francisco. There is basically no law in San Francisco. It is some GTA 5 type stuff. People are robbing, people are stealing, and even outside of San Francisco, places like LA, many restaurants are angry and are threatening to close down because of just rampant drug use everywhere. I mean, California taxes businesses in the billions of dollars, and people are wondering, how are you spending billions of dollars combating homelessness and drug use when it's getting worse and worse? Where is all that money going towards? And many people also feel like absurd laws and policies like these also don't really make that much sense. And San Francisco's downtown and LA's downtown, it's just getting worse and worse. Businesses are moving out. This is why California right now is stagnant 
despite the U.S. economy and GDP growing pretty well.